Oh, yeah. All right, you know, my first guest from such TV shows as Spin City, Melrose Place, Dynasty, T.J. Hooker, the list goes on and on. Starting tomorrow, she'll be seen in The Perfect Man. Please welcome Heather Locklear. <laughs> Doing there. I'm adjusting my... I thought you were taking your pants off. No, I'm adjusting it over the belly. Oh, oh, I thought now we got a show. <laughs> no, you don't want me to do that. No. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Not gonna happen. Uh, not gonna happen. All right, well, that's different. That's different from you don't want that to happen. Okay, no, not gonna happen, I understand. Not yeah. Happen. That I've heard all my life. Now. <laughs> No, Thank apparently you. not. You have a two-year-old, right? I have a two-year. Well, so, I have a, yeah, I have a two-year-old girl. Yeah. So then the you. There was that one time. That yeah. one time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yeah, I'm gonna start crying soon. Um, no, no, but thank you so much for being here. You look thank you. incredible. Thank you. I haven't seen. I haven't been here forever. I know. So, I know. But you yeah. always look amazing. Thank you. And Probably I. Ever since T.J. Hooker, one of those scary old. The, <laughs> keeps going like into the. Well, no, it's it's 1800s. cool that. Hundreds. <laughs> no, it doesn't go back that far. You're a young, vibrant woman, but you've been uh, you've worked constantly. You know. Which is, which is a lucky thing in television. Yeah, knock on wood. That's not wood. Um, <laughs> Polly, you're at home. <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> you just ruined my chance of getting that ad as the spokesman. <laughs> for, uh, but I couldn't be happier. Um, <laughs> I want to pry, but uh, so many guys think of you uh, constantly, uh, and um, <laughs> you are. You're, and 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 I, I've I've read, and I don't know if it's one of those things that's not true that that that's just out there that guys have made up. But I've I've read that you really in real life have a mirror above above your bed. Is that true? I really do. You have yeah. a mirror above you, you your. You know bed. what? It sounds really tacky, like it's a water bed and some, but it's not. It's got a mirror behind and then above, and it's oh. got these beautiful brocade you know, right. panels on the side of it. But right, then once right. you get in the bed, you notice all kinds of surprises. Right, well, I would think, yeah. <laughs> the See, curtains close, the music goes on, and... Bubbles come out. Bubbles come out. <laughs> this sounds like a swinging, uh, swinging joint you have here. Uh, it I would was just, at one time. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> how's it going with you and Richie Sambora? Everything good? <laughs> no, I mean, he's, yeah, no, good. Okay, good. I mean, I'm hoping not now while I'm gone, it's not swinging. Right, right. Well, you're out of town for a bit. No, of right, course not. Of course right. not. I'm sure he's a good guy. But I just the mirror on the bed is not something I, I'm very ashamed of my body. I wouldn't want to see myself like that all I'm the time. I'm not but... looking at my body. Oh. I'm looking at other, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at mine. Who are these other I... people and why are you? <laughs> Sounds like Richie should be my... worried about you. It's no, not me, I'm, I'm looking, looking at, at the other people there. <laughs> I forgot that I'm married to him, so I could say him. Yeah, so I, it's Richie. I'm like just checking him out. Right, right. Yeah. That's strange. I mean, it's nice. No, Maybe it's not. It's not strange. You see, see I'm... every part. Oh, I'm so inhibited. I wouldn't. Uh, that's uh, that's cool. You guys are. <laughs> you guys are. Yeah, you got it going on. Well, let me ask you about this because you mentioned uh, I have a daughter. You have a child. Oh, hello. Uh, Sorry. I know what you're okay. Yes. Well, you, are, you have a child, mm -hmm. uh, and how old is your child? Seven. Seven. Seven uh, does half. your child ever cramp your style? You know, I've heard later. You know what I mean? Now they can just sort of Did run you around. Say crap my style. No, you I said cramp. cramp I think okay. pretty clearly. Okay. Uh, okay, so cramp my style. I don't know style. what you're thinking about, but no. Uh, so she does. She climbs in the bed. She climbs into bed. Or she starts in there. So, uh, so I'm she just... likes the mirror bed too, but not for any other reason. Right, than right, her right, right. Looking at herself. She yeah. looks at herself a lot. But I've just heard that you know when kids are running around, sometimes it's hard to hard to be passionate with your spouse if there's a child running around the house who could come charging in the door at any True. time. Is True. that is that so something to be... Have, we have to put locks on the doors. And we do have locks on the doors. We just have to use them. Right, or right. we'd like run to another room. Right, right. Smaller with locks and right, all right. Yeah. So, so the kid's like, bang, 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 what's happening in there? And, and we're uh, going, bang, 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 guess what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, but, um, your house sounds so much cooler than my it's house. It's pretty cool. Let me ask you something. Uh, this is something I've wondered about my whole life, uh, and not just specifically with you, but but let's take you for example. Uh, you're married, of course, now to Rich Sambora. You used to go out with Tommy Lee. You like the rockers, the kind of the bad boy rockers. And I, when I was growing up in high school, I was like, why? Why do those girls like the rocker? You did why not. not the butterfly collector? <laughs> do you have butterflies? 
Well, I could. No, I don't. I'm, okay. I'm joking. I mean, I but was. But I don't I think was, when you were growing up, they were. I mean, what? When you were in high school? Yeah, like, yeah, I didn't yeah. like rockers in high school. You it didn't just like... happened to be that they were at places where I was at. And it, I've been out with actors and all. Right, right. Regular right. butterfly catchers. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but did you like the bad boy kind of? Is that I, a I like bad, I think bad boys. I mean, I did in college and stuff, they, were, they weren't rockers, but I had, like, the bad boys. Right, right. Yeah. I had all these friends that were girls, and they'd always be these guys that were really bad and mean to them, and they'd, stick, they'd complain to me about them, but then they'd be like, but he's so dreamy, and I'd be like, why, why? <laughs> So you should have like been bad to her. I think it's not bad mean. I think it's just kind of a bad image. There's, a, there's an edge there. I think there's an edge. There's an edge. Yeah. That's cool. And all then right. maybe if you wrote a song or two. I did, but oh. they were all about butterflies. Butterflies, yeah. <laughs> oh, butterfly, collecting is fun. <laughs> and then they'd just leave, and I'd be alone. And well, that was kind of like Tiny Tim, what you just did. Exactly. So, it was yeah, sad all around idea. for 40 different reasons. <laughs> Let's talk about this this movie, The Perfect Man. Yeah. I had a little bit of a problem with the plot because in the plot. Your 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 daughter is helping you find a man. Find a man, right. and you're Heather Locklear. You're you know. So you'd think it'd be. It's a little bit of a stretch of the imagination that you'd have any trouble at all. Well, it wasn't Heather Locklear because she's married. Right, with right. A mirror over her head. Right, exactly. Um, in her bed. <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah. you're still. It's your your uh, even no. playing that role. You're. But you know, it wasn't that she couldn't find a man. It was just that she would take what you know came first, like whatever comes along. She wasn't very picky or choosy. Right. She needed help finding the right person. Right, and she just wouldn't do that. So it was the right perfect man. Right. So that's she's helping me find that. I know we have a clip, but I want to. Uh, you know, set, set this up. up a little bit. I'm yeah. at a PTA meeting. I, we've just moved into this new town, and I'm in a PTA meeting and with my daughter, and um, I'm just asking some questions. Oh, cool. All right, let's take a look at this clip uh, from uh, a the perfect, perfect man. man. That perfect man. That's the guy you're going to get. That's the guy I'm talking about. I think he's got this butterfly. Yeah, he probably <laughs> does. Well, uh, the perfect man opens in theaters tomorrow, so check it out. Heather yeah. Lockler, thanks so much Thank for stopping by. So Great much. to have you on the show. Paul Giamatti coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Fine show tonight. We got a fine show coming up tomorrow night. Uh, Academy Award nominated actor Ethan Hawke is going to be joining me. From Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, Carson Kressley will be here. He'll help me out. And uh, musical guest, The Red Walls. So watch. <laughs>